Okay, so here we would be trying to derive relationship between spherical coordinate system and cylindrical coordinate systems. So let's do that. Let's get started. First drawing. Okay, why? That's the that's an x-axis. Okay, so let's drop a perpendicular as usual. This time the perpendicular is green. Now we are going to draw a parallel line parallel to the y axis. So there we go. That's the y. Then we have this is my x axis, obviously. And then we are going to have a line originating from this to the upside, to the upper point, and a line originating from the origin to the lower point of the perpendicular line. Now, since this is a perpendicular, let's not forget to put that perpendicular in there. And since we know all axes are perpendicular to each other, let's put a perpendicular angle in there too. Okay. So as we know, this is either A, since we are trying to find the relativity between cylindrical and spherical system, so we're going to also name it rho. Then this is the Z, this is going to be my theta, this is going to be my phi, and this is going to be the theta again, because they are alternate interior angles. Okay. Now let's just list all uh, the uh, formulas down there for spherical plane. For spherical plane, we have Z. Uh, sorry, we don't have Z. We don't have Z. We have R. So we don't have Z. We have R. That looks like B. Yeah, we have R. And then we have uh, phi. Oh, sorry, theta. That became a theta. And then we have phi. Yes. So R is going to be um, under root x square plus y square plus z square and theta is tan inverse tan inverse not tan square tan inverse a by z then i'm just going to leave it like that i'm not going to simplify it phi as we know tan inverse y by x you might have already memorized this now, right? Okay, moving on. Uh, let's just jot the spherical coordinate system on the left side. So the vari variables for spherical coordinate system is rho, phi, and z. So the value for z is z. We don't change that. Uh, the value for phi is tan inverse y by x and the value for uh, rho is under root x square plus y square now you might have already tried you know figuring out the relationship between these two because it's very easy phi is equals to phi z is not present so we are not talking about z Talking of, uh, speaking of the rho, rho is present, definitely, twice in theta as well as in r. So let's just see how it is present and how can we actually relate them up. Okay, so rho, guys, rho, remember, it is under root x squared plus y squared. So, Let's start with phi, because phi is equal to phi, so that's a very nice thing to write down. Z, we are not using Z, so we don't need Z for now. Um, and now we move on to rho. Okay, so A is equal to rho. I wrote it over here, right? I wrote it down over here. Let me just brighten that up for you by writing it in red. Okay, so A is equal to rho. So do you see any A over here? Yes, I see A twice. So A over here, and this is also an A. This thing is also an A. So let's just write that in here. So starting with theta, theta is equal to tan inverse A by Z, right? Since we know A is equal to rho, 
that is equal to under root x squared plus y squared tan inverse tan why do I keep writing tan square tan inverse rho by z now finally we have phi sorry we have r finally we have r <coughs> r is going to be equal to under root x square plus y square plus z square which is equal to under root a square plus z square which is equal to under root rho square plus z square so there we go we have a link between uh, the spherical coordinate system and uh, the cylindrical coordinate system now we uh, i forgot to mention there are ordered pairs so ordered pairs pairs the ordered pairs ordered pairs are basically the coordinates how do you write the coordinates first cartesian let's start with cartesian for cartesian we all know we write them as x y and then z right for cylindrical cylindrical again we write them as rho phi and z and if you are representing it as r then it's r 